Officials hope the recent accidents serve as a reminder to others to be careful while out on the water this weekend. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall shows us some ways you can protect yourself and your family. 22 people have died on Tennessee waters this year in boating accidents. This Labor Day weekend, officials are urging people to be safe on Percy Priest Lake. You know, when you come out here, wear that life jacket uh, on your boat at all times. That's going to be your number one way to go home. District Boating Officer Joss Landrum says children 12 years old and younger must wear life jackets. Landrum and other TWRA officials encourage folks to have fun on the lake, but know their limits. If you're out here and you're drinking and driving, make sure you have a designated driver and you're going to go home safe if you do that. Labor Day weekend may be the unofficial end to motorboat season, but sailboat season is racing up close behind. The winds blow pretty good. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, and April. 74-year-old Richard Lewis started sailing as a boy on the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. The retired Vietnam veteran has nearly 50 years of sailing experience. Of course, if you're on a boat, you see someone that's overboard, you should point and stand and leave your hand on that person, whichever way the boat goes, where the captain of that vessel can direct the vessel back to pick up the person that's overboard. And like the crashing waters, Lewis and other sailors are ready to set sail until it's time to return back to the shore. At Percy Priest Lake, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5. As for new boating laws that took effect this year, if you see blue lights while you're out on the water, you need to slow down if you are within 100 feet of a TWRA vessel.